This is the easiest AFK lava farm for Minecraft Bedrock 1.20. Alright, the first thing you want to do is build this 4 by 14 square like I have here. This is going to be the majority of the farm, so it's easier if you just mark it out with blocks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and on this third block, we're going to place down a piston. We're going to come across to the other side of the platform and place down a piston on this block right here, and then a piston right here. And then we're going to come back over here, and we're going to place down a piston like so. So if I fly up here, you can see that all of the pistons are in alternating directions. We're then going to grab our observers now, and we're going to place down observers just like this. So this one is looking at this empty space, and then it's running into this piston. If we come over here, we're going to do the same thing. Place down an observer so that it's facing into the empty space, running into the piston. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a redstone torch on this piston, and a redstone torch on this piston as well. And then we're going to come over here and place down a redstone torch on this piston, and a redstone torch on this piston. We're then going to get our observers looking at those redstone torches, just like so. And then we're going to run redstone dust, connecting up the observers and the pistons, just like this. So when we go ahead and power this, it's going to create a clock. Now that we have our piston conveyor belt built, what we're going to do is place down our cauldrons inside of this area here. None of the cauldrons are going to be directly next to any pistons. And after we have filled out all of these cauldrons, we're going to place down a singular cauldron in front of a piston. And this is going to be the piston get that gets pushed around and will actually create the conveyor belt system. So if we go ahead and power this again, you're going to see that it's going to carry around and push all of the cauldrons in a circle, just like so. Now that we have the pistons built and the cauldrons in place, let's go down here and place one temporary block on top of this cauldron, and then another block on top of that block. Go ahead and break that temporary block now, and we're going to create a 12 by 2 strip of blocks to cover all of the cauldrons and all of the empty spaces above those pistons. We're then going to add a lip on top of this, just one block up, and fully encase it because this is going to be where the lava is going to sit, and we're just going to go ahead and do it like so. After you have your giant basin, we're going to fill it in with lava now. Just go across and fill this bad boy with lava. I'm pretty sure they have to be source blocks in order for it to actually drip down, so you are unfortunately going to need 24 lava buckets in order for this farm to work. But after you have your lava in place, on all of the blocks here, we're going to place down pointed dripstone over top of the cauldrons, just like this, and this is how we're going to be filling all of these cauldrons with lava. Alright, the next thing we want to do is build a place for the player to stand, so we're going to set down three blocks in the front like so, place down two blocks right here, and then a slab just like this, and this is where you're actually going to be AFKing and clicking on all of the cauldrons. We're then going to place down a block right here with a lever on top and turn that on, and then just go ahead and connect it up to our conveyor belt. That way you can turn it on and off with this lever. So just turn it off for now so you don't have to listen to all the pistons and fun stuff. And then we're going to break this block right here along with these two blocks and then another layer of blocks like so. We're going to add a chest in this hole and then we're going to run a hopper into that chest. And this is going to be where all of the lava ends up. So all of the lava buckets that you collect are going to be thrown out of your inventory and into this chest. We're going to place down a hopper running into that hopper right there. The next thing you're going to do is break this block right here, place down a comparator, and then break these two blocks and these three blocks to create a 3 by 2 square. We're then going to grab our repeaters and place down a repeater here, here, and here. Set this repeater to two ticks just like that, and then run two redstone dust like so. We're then going to grab a block and place down a block right here and a block over top of that repeater. We're then going to grab a dropper and place it facing towards the hopper, just like so. And then we're going to place down an observer looking at this redstone dust so that the red dot is pointed up. We're then going to place down a redstone dust here and right here. And then we're going to set down a final repeater right here. So what this system is doing is it's actually allowing the player to collect the lava. It's going to go through and when the lava passes through this hopper, it's going to dispense a new bucket and it's going to lock this hopper so that way this hopper doesn't pick up the empty bucket, but the player does because this hopper is locked. So hopefully that made sense. This system is very important for the AFK aspect of it. Now what you want to do is place two slabs over top of that chest and then we're going to dig down this block so that we can reach this chest 
And we're gonna go ahead and place down a ladder right here, and then we're gonna set down a trap door over top of the ladder. Now this is going to be the collection system for the farm, so I highly recommend having more than one double chest here. Maybe have like four or five of them, that way you can collect a bunch of lava buckets. And another thing is that this is going to be where all of the empty buckets are held, so I recommend having a hopper here with a chest full of stacks of buckets, because obviously buckets can only be stacked in stacks of 16, so having 9 stacks of 16 buckets isn't going to last you very long. I highly recommend having more buckets here and having more storage here. Alright, I've gone ahead and loaded this farm up with empty buckets here, and all you need to do is fill your inventory so that it is full, and then have a stack of buckets that we are going to be collecting the lava with. And if we check in this chest, it is completely empty, and all we're going to do is stand inside of this hopper, just like so. Go ahead and turn on the farm, and it's going to start spinning. All you have to do is hold down right click, and then you're going to go ahead and collect all of the lava, and a new bucket will be dispensed into your inventory. This farm is super awesome if you want to like use it for a super smelter or something, because this is completely AFK, and all you need to do is leave your like system running holding right click so as you can see it's still spinning if we take a look inside the chest it is only lava buckets in here it's not overshooting the amount of buckets and as you can see we have only lost five buckets and we have 16 buckets in here so there are no buckets being lost in this system every single bucket you put in here is going to eventually be filled with lava this system is super clean and super easy, so hopefully this will help you a ton. Alright, if you guys have any difficulties building this farm, then this world will be available for download on my Discord, so go ahead and join that. And really quick, I went ahead and added this repeater here and set it to two ticks, because I noticed that when you have two buckets next to each other like this, two cauldrons full of lava, the system actually works too fast, and you end up taking both of the lava buckets and throwing them too quickly for the system to realize, so it'll actually spit out three buckets instead of one because of the way it works. It's just a lot easier if you go ahead and add this repeater in here, so I highly recommend doing this, or you are going to have a couple buckets slip through the system. Alright, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, then be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Uh, this farm was a lot of fun to make, so hopefully you guys found it useful and enjoyable. And this thing would be perfect for something like a super smelter, or if you want to make a ton of obsidian for some reason, because I know obsidian farms use lava buckets. So again, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. My name is 1UpMC, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh, also, as I said earlier, this farm is available for download on my Discord. So once again, go and join that. Alright, just a quick little shameless plug here, if you guys are struggling for iron to build all those cauldrons and empty buckets, then you should check out my iron farm on my channel, it works super good, it's really easy to build, and just, I'll leave it linked in the description, so hopefully that helps you out as well.